Hey guys, welcome back to our Tech Tips. I'm Matt Wilson, I'm an AE here with QTE. Today's Tech Tip is going to be making an STL for Mastercam for machining. We could use this for molds or cavities. In this instance, I'm gonna, I'm mimicking if we were to weld up a mold. So you can see here, I put some welds on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan this and I'm gonna make an STL from it. And then we're gonna have our Mastercam AE do a program showing like an OptiRough, just machining this stuff down. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a scan of this part. We can make a mesh off of this thing. Turn my scanner on. Okay. You can see it coming up on the screen. I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to have to hit it at a couple different angles because we can see it's not grabbing all the edges of the well. So we're just going to go in here and we'll grab all the rest of these little edges that we have to hit from a different angle on these welds. The better this, the cleaner this scan and more full this scan is. The left spots Verisurf has to fill in. We want to make sure we really get a good scan of this part. That's why I put it up on these pedestals so we can get underneath it and we can really get a good scan of everything. So I'm just going to go around this thing and grab all the points to clean, make sure I got a nice clean scan on it. And then we'll convert it over to being a, a mess for an STL. All right, guys, welcome back. So here's my scan. I went through and I cleaned it up. I got rid of all my fire points and um, this is it. So from here, all I have to do is I go into my mesh utilities and I create a mesh. So here's our finished mesh right here. You can see the spots we added. Everything's all nice and closed up. So from here, I'm just gonna save it as an STL and I'm gonna hand it over to my master Mastercam applications guy. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Mills. I'm an application engineer here at QT Manufacturing Solutions. And today I wanted to show you guys how to use mesh models to create remachining paths in Mastercam. So in an, earlier in the video, Matt showed us how to scan the part. And I've gone ahead and pulled both the part and the mesh into Mastercam project. See here. I am going to use, to start, my mesh to set my stock setup. I'm going to go here to stock setup and I'm going to do a stock from a selection. I'm just going to pick that mesh that Matt gave us. There. Now, if I show my stock, I turn off my actual mesh. You can see here in the red that our stock setup is displayed here. And this will actually show up and verify for us. So when we go to verify the part and we actually see that stock getting removed, this is what our model is going to look like. Really handy for something like this where we have weld. So next up, I went ahead and made a stock model here, and I used the same mesh. <clears throat> We're going to use this more on the toolpath side than the verify side, so that's why we needed both. From here, I'm going to import some toolpaths where I've got some parameters set up. Go ahead and move my OptiRough first here. And let's take a look at these OptiRough parameters. So I'm gonna go into parameters and I'm gonna pick some geometry. We're gonna just leave 10 on the walls and floors. I'm gonna turn off my vice for now. Pick the whole part. Should have everything else picked for us. Main thing I wanna do now is go to my stock, make sure that my stock model is picked. I wanna reference that stock model or that mesh so that it only cuts in those areas that are heavy. Hit the green check. I'm gonna wait for this to calculate. And you can see that this is just going in those areas that we need it to. It's only going, if I turn the mesh back on, only going in these areas where we we're, we're have excess stock from the weld. It's even coming over here on the backside 
You see our welder got a little crazy and he went over the corner here. And it's even it's even roughing that out for us. And turn the mesh back off. And let's do a finish pass. So for a finish pass, I I I decided to go with the unified. We have a few more stock options in the unified pass that I really like. So I'm gonna just stick with this for now. But let's look at our stock. Once again, I'm gonna use the stock model that we set up. I'm going to come in. I'm going to pick some machining geometries. Let's pick the top of this. I've also made some caps in the background so that our path doesn't try to dive in these holes. So I'm going to pick those as well. I'm going to, I'm going to create two lines here and I'm going to select a morph style. Pick a few lines. Start here and here. It's our first line. Next. Right there and here. Okay. Now that we have this set up, I'm just going to increase the tolerance a little bit so it doesn't take so long to calculate. Stock models can take quite a while to calculate. There's a lot of information going on in the background, but it does save you a whole heck of a lot of time out of the machine on an operation like this. I'm going to hit the green check and then we're going to wait for this calculate. We'll take a look at what it looks like. Okay, our, our tool path's done calculating and look how clean this looks. We got it just going and finishing the areas that our weld had. I actually added a little extension too, so it'd go just past so we could see it coming over the sink and we'd be able to land directly into the part. But now that we have both of these tool paths created, Let's take a look and verify, see what these look like together. Select everything, verify. Wait for this to come up. Okay, we have our model here. I've went ahead and overload, overlaid our workpiece as well. So let's go ahead and hit the play button to see what this looks like. See that we're starting safely off the part, but we're still getting in there and only cutting in the areas we need to. We're not going around and cutting a lot of air. It's just getting where we want to go. This is all from the mesh that Matt gave us earlier in the video. Speed this up a little bit so we can take a look at our finish pass. Go get a nice blend on our finish pass here. You can see it's just coming past as it's going around the weld, coming off. See this pretty nice path with not a lot of setup. That's all I have for the video today. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at qtemfg.com. If you have any other questions, of course, you can put it down in the comment section. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next Tech Tip video.